Good morning, my superstars. How are you? This is your pick a card guidance. So you're going to choose what message your soul has for you today. Let's do this. This is a new series that I'm starting. So if this is your first time watching, I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to let four pop out. Then it's going to be your turn and you're going to choose one of the four cards and then I'll reveal what your soul wants you to know. All right, let's shuffle. So, okay. Spirit, what does their soul want them to know? What does their soul want them to know? That was one. Okay. Okay, and then that was two. And then that was three. And then what energy do they need to embody? Let's see. What energy do they need to embody? There we go. All right, now it's your turn. Take a deep breath in, release. Now tune into your heart. Do you want card number one? Card number two? Card number three? Or card number four? Okay, if you chose card number one, your soul wants you to know that you are still a badass, anxiety, and all. Go ahead and screenshot that. And it says, I love and honor and accept all parts of myself. My anxiety is a wonderful teacher and I learn from her. I choose to not let my anxiety get in the way of creating the life that I want. So what I'm really getting for that, for uh, card number one, is that even if you have anxiety, you can still be a badass. Even if you have anxiety, you can still make your dreams come true. Even if you have anxiety, you can make your millions, you can find the love of your life, you can have the life of your dreams. Do not let anxiety stop you from going after what you know you deserve and desire. If you chose card number two, your soul's message is... Allow yourself to break, for broken is merely a temporary state. So that's the affirmation. But I love how she's sitting in this flower and it's almost like divine guidance is just like sprinkling onto her, right? So maybe you feel broken, but here's your soul's message. When we break down, it is simply a pause from wholeness. It is a moment to readjust and piece ourselves back together bone by bone, stronger than before. So if you chose this, this is just a reminder that it's okay for things to break. It's okay, it's okay for things to die. The old story has to die in order for the new story to be born. So maybe you're just in this transition right now of, of in between this death and rebirth, and your soul is reminding you that in order for the rebirth to happen, sometimes there has to be a death and it's okay. So let those broken pieces fall away and then put back together the ones that actually support the life that you wanna live moving forward. Okay, if you chose card number three, your soul's message is, yes. I weave, so your soul is saying, weave a new world with each breath that you take. Inhale and exhale. So your soul is saying, there is power in pausing and allowing your, yourself to ground into the present moment. With each breath you take, you refuel your energy and gain strength. Your breath brings life. Your breath is your freedom, right? So if you want to turn that into an affirmation, you would say, there is power in pausing and allowing myself to ground into the present moment. With each breath I take, Every breath I take. Okay, I don't know. But anyway, if you heard that song before. Um, and I refuel my energy and gain strength. My breath brings in life. My breath is my freedom. So what I'm hearing for you is like, get get way more conscious about how much you're actually breathing, right? We sometimes take for granted something so simple as taking a breath every single day and it's just on autopilot. But the more intentional that you are with every 
inhale of that fresh oxygen. That is an inhale of prosperity, an inhale of health, of health. So it's like you're breathing in wealth, breathing in health, breathing in love, breathing in freedom, breathing in the peace, breathe in all of the things that you want and exhale out all of the things that don't. Finally, if you chose card number four, your soul's message is Yes, you are your own home and you say who is welcome in it. All right, so screenshot that if you want. I love this. So your soul's message is this. You have the ability to choose who you cultivate relationships with and who you open the doors of your heart to. So use discernment to choose people that make you feel safe. Yes, I added an extra syllable because that's how important it is. If you're going to use that as an affirmation, I have the ability to choose who I cultivate relationships with and who I open the doors of my heart to. I use discernment to choose people that make me feel safe. So what I'm really hearing is that moving forward, one of the key successful actions that you're going to be able to take moving forward is to be super discerning about who you let into your inner circle and into your inner life. These um, the Anunnaki, the Draconians, like the low vibe toxic narcissists, they are getting craftier. They're getting more clever. They're getting more tricky in how they can sneak into your home and try to disturb your peace and take your energy. So you have really need to get more discerning as to who you're going to allow in into your energy field because they, it, they drain you. And you'll know that you have people who drain you is if you still cannot get up and have like your full tank of gas to get done what you needed to get done. So take some time to like maybe sort of do a little inventory and see like when you hang out with someone, do you get completely drained afterwards or do they actually energize you instead of drain you, right? Keep the ones that energize you, dump the ones that don't. Let me know in the comments, was that helpful? Did it resonate? Which card did you choose? Hit that follow button for more. And if you really want some more kind and loving guidance, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube or join my email list. It is completely free to join. You become a VIP and you're the first to know when new videos drop, when new courses drop, when I have discounts, when I have special early bird specials, y'all are going to be the ones to get it first. So just go to the link in my bio and sign up. I love you. You've got